I want to read for you one of my favorite verses from the Bible, and that is John 16, 33. This is a powerful verse. The Bible reads, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. That's a powerful verse. Now, chapter 16 is a great chapter, and that's the last verse of chapter 16. Let me read for you the first verse of chapter 16. The Bible says, These things have I spoken unto you, that ye shall not be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God service. And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them. And these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. And so he's explaining in John 16 that he's warning them about uh, things that they're going to go through. Persecutions, trials, tribulations. People are going to be martyred. People are going to be imprisoned. And he says, I'm telling you these things so that you'll not be offended. You see, the first time the word tribulation is ever used in the Bible or in the New Testament is in Matthew 13, when he says that when someone uh, is offended because of trials and persecutions and tribulations, he says that they're offended. He said when persecution or tribulation arises because of the word, by and by they're offended. So Jesus is saying, I want to warn you about coming trials and tribulations so that when they come, you won't be offended. He's saying, I'm warning you so that you'll know what to expect and you'll remember that I told you about this. He said, these things have I spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. Well, how does that tie in with end times prophecy? Well, the Bible warns us about the tribulation for the exact same reason. The great tribulation is described in so many places in the Bible, Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, Revelation 6, Revelation 13. He shows us over and over again because he doesn't want us to be offended. He wants us to be prepared for it. And the problem is that the vast majority of Christians today are not prepared for it at all. And therefore they will be offended because of the fact that preachers have been lying to them and telling them that they're not going to be here for the tribulation, now they're not going to be prepared. And they're going to be offended because they're not ready for it spiritually, mentally. Jesus warned us so that we'd be ready. And then you got a bunch of preachers running around telling people, don't worry about it. You'll be gone. It's a deception, my friend. <laughs>